If you love money, you're not alone. But if you love to make positive cash flow without working too hard, damn, you have clicked on the right thumbnail. Often people ask if it is possible to live off dividends. Surely you can. It is not a talent that you are only born with, but is a skill that you can learn as long as you are willing to put in that effort. In this video, I'm going to throw some light on the evergreen topic, living off dividends. Is it possible? Hi, my name is Sunny and welcome to my channel, Sunny Snippets. Here, I try to make videos that affect a common man financially. If you are new to this channel, please smash that like button as that will help me with the YouTube algorithm and it will be highly appreciated. Please feel free to write in the comment section after watching this video as it will help me improve my content and your feedback is very important to me. Now before we learn any new skill, we need to develop a mindset. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a dividend mindset. What is a dividend, how the dividend works, and at the end, I will use an example to explain it. So I request you guys to stay till the very end. A wise man once said that before you try to learn any new skill, you need to develop a mindset and be open to new and different ideas. Here I am going to ask, is it even possible to live off dividends, which is a sort of positive cash flow? There are many ways of having a positive cash flow and we are familiar with some very common ones which are interest income from our bank, profit sharing, rental income, etc. to just name a few. As most of us are not that stock market savvy, so often we overlook a very important passive income tool called dividend from stocks. As we all know that banks give us next to nothing as interest in these low interest times. Also, profit sharing as a passive income is the one which mostly people do by investing with friends or relatives in their small businesses. Even a hint of recession or bad times leave these small businesses in tough position financially. Rental income looks very easy from the outside. Since I had rental properties, so I know it's not bed of roses at all. As you have to deal with different tenants along with managing the property, which can be challenging at times. I have done all of them. That is why I think dividend income stands out if you want a really passive income. Don't get me wrong. It's not easy but if you educate yourself by developing a learning mindset, this can be life-changing. As they say, no pain, no gain. But with right tools, you can be blown away with its long-term returns. The stock investing is for long-term and don't expect any miracles in a short while. As a disclaimer, all the examples I will be using in this video are for illustrative purposes only and not any investment tips. Please consult a financial advisor before investing as I'm just a common Joe on YouTube making some random videos. In simple terms, dividend is a distribution of some of the company's earnings to its shareholders as decided by the board of directors. Or in other words, it can be a sort of reward given by the publicly listed companies towards investors or shareholders out of its earnings. These dividends can be paid once a year at the end of every quarter or in some cases as special dividend as decided by the company. In other cases, companies can give their stakeholders free stocks also in the form of dividends. Just keep in mind, the dividend is not mandatory for a company. They can increase, decrease or be cancelled at any time if there is any change in the financial environment internally or externally for the company. On the other hand, there are some companies which rather than sharing their profit with their shareholders in the form of dividend, they keep that money and try to reinvest in the businesses to buy a new business so that the overall size of the companies grows over a period of time. A famous example of this is Berkshire Hathaway run by Warren Buffett, who has never paid a dividend. Instead, they keep the money on the company's books, use that money to grow, which has enabled Berkshire Hathaway to become an American powerhouse. 
in this case the logic is that he can use that money more productively to buy more businesses so that Berkshire can increase manifold. Others have paid dividends for a very long period of time but have kept some money on their books so that they can grow their business thus increasing their market cap. These are the companies that I like to invest in. You can get dividends at regular intervals of time which are predictable. The business is growing, so does their market cap. Hence, as an investor, I got rewarded by getting regular dividends and appreciation of the stock price. Don't you think it's a good idea of increasing your wealth passively this way? Which is a form of double dipping. Just give it a thought. As we have learned till now, the dividend is the sharing of profits by the company with its shareholders, which is a sort of incentive for the shareholders to hold on to the stock for an extended period of time. Now let me try to explain how this actually works. As an example, AT&T, which is a huge telecommunication company in the US, listed on the New York Stock Exchange. It has got a market cap of about $230 billion, a stock price of $32.16 on the day of recording while giving a forward dividend yield of about 6.5%. So what does this all mean? In simple terms, it means if you own AT&T stock as a shareholder, you will get a dividend return of about 6.5% on the money deployed by you as an investor in the stock. This is neither a stock tip nor any investment advice but using this as an example to explain the topic. We all are aware that money is one important piece of the puzzle in our life which we all need to solve so that we can fulfill our needs and wants. As an example, let's see how can we make $2,000 every month or $2,000 multiplied by 12 months which is $24,000 every year. There are basically two ways of making this money. First is by using active income and the second by using passive income. Active income is the one where you go to work as an employee thus get paid in return which is also called earned income. Nothing wrong with this type of income but as you grow older your ability to go out and work reduces with age which will affect your income eventually. The ideal case is that you can use your today's active or earned income save up some money, start putting them into passive income assets so that over a period of time you can have passive income. As they say, Rome was not built in a day, so believe me, it will take some time to build a passive income portfolio. Let's try to explore how to make $2,000 per month or $2,000 per month passive income using dividend investing. There are a lot of companies which give you dividend. But let's take the example again of AT&T. Now the question is, how many shares do I need to have of AT&T so that it gives me a dividend income of $24,000 every year at 6.5% dividend given by the company? Easy way to do is divide $24,000 by yield which is 6.5% in this case. And the answer is $369,230. It means if you invest $369,230 to buy AT&T stock at today's market price of $32.60 a share, then at 6.5% dividend yield, you will get a dividend income of $24,000 every year. Now, how many shares do I need to buy to do this? It is easy to calculate by dividing $369,000 $230 by today's stock price which is $32.16 that gives you 11,481 shares. Now we have solved this money puzzle. If you have 11,481 shares of AT&T at today's share price at a dividend yield of about 6.5% it will give you a dividend income of 24,000. Now the next part of the puzzle is I don't have that kind of money to buy these shares right now. The idea is you can build such a passive income generating portfolio where you can build it bit by bit over a long period of time. When the time comes, you got enough dividend generating income, 
then you can think about transitioning from active to passive income on which you can live off comfortably. Now the icing on the cake is as you are collecting your regular dividend income checks you still own the shares which hopefully will appreciate too. This is my take on the topic living off dividends possible. If you like the content that I make please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Please feel free to write in the comment section about the topic I have touched base on today and I would urge you to write down if you want me to make videos about a specific topic. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the next video on your channel Sunny Snippets.